Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Oh. I know, I know. Y'all Jones and Fresh TV. <laughs> okay. Guys, I... I got my... My uh, hinge humps glued on there. And I got a glass, got the primer on there. Now when I glass something like that, guys, what I do is I get it wet with resin just where I want the cloth. You know, then I'll put my cloth on there and just real carefully just glue right next to the edge. Let it set up to a tacky state. Take a razor blade, trim it. Bam. You don't want glass coming away out here. It's too hard to feather. You know, so now I've got to fill this a little bit around the edges. Then I kind of sanded it and squirted some primer on there. But, uh, been pretty busy in the shop. Uh, loaded up the Tomcat in that big old crate the other day and shipped it out of here. Tomcat is gone. I was going to make a video. You should have seen that big old crate, man. <laughs> it was built... Uh, the guy who bought it, he sent me the bobcat or the bandit, you know. Well, he built this box big enough for the tomcat. And so he sent this <laughs> little jet, this big old huge box. And, uh, oh, hold on, let me get some uh, partner. And I'll finish the story. But, uh, so anyway, I had this big old box, 4x8, great, uh, way overbuilt, this thing was, you could drag it, <laughs> just, <laughs> there, but anyway, went to put it in, we thought it would fit at an angle, but he made the side so thick it kind of used up too much of the 4x8 space, so <laughs> we had to cut a hole. Got a hole in the front of it. And then uh, he had some buddies that deliver boats. And they was going to be, they was driving right by Hayesville, Kansas, man. So he said, man, that'll save me some shipping. If we can throw it in the back of their truck. Because they was going right up by there. So I said, all right. Well, them guys left Alabama. And showed up at Aidsville, Kansas at 1 o'clock in the morning. Monday night. And it took, and then he was hauling this big old boat. <laughs> and he showed up in a Ford F-350, big old diesel truck, right? You know, at one o'clock in the morning, and they had a short bed on it, hauling this boat. Well, we couldn't, we couldn't even just take the tailgate off because of the backup camera thing. But uh, that wouldn't have worked anyway because it was hit the boat, <laughs> the box, this big old crate. Remember, it's nine foot long now because I had to build another box on the front of it to cover up this hole. So, uh, I don't know, I was, you know, he was talking about lifting it all the way up in the back of his truck. And, uh, and you know, to, to where it sat on the tailgate and block it up in the front. And this is a big crate, guys. And, uh, so, anyway, here we are front of my house and by then it's two o'clock in the morning loading up this big old crate and there was only three of us and uh, kind of ingeniously figured out a way to get that thing up there and uh, actually turned out pretty well he should have it today
Thanks for going up to northern Utah. Pretty close to Washington, I believe. Washington State. So some of you fans way up there in the northwest might be able to see my old Tomcat. Forget, I got another one in the room there. Oh, yeah, your buddy Bob's got another Tomcat in there. Got all the bombs and missiles for it, all the hard points, drop tanks. I want to do it up just plain old Tom Cruise aircraft carrier. F-18 all weathered up, or F-14, no, no fancy tail numbers, nothing, just all of his gray, weathered up. me the brand name on this stuff. This is Bondo. Bondo brand. It comes in a little it looks just like that old red blazing putty. The only difference is it comes with hardener. They sell it at the auto parts store. I love that stuff man. But after this sets up be able to sand them and uh, start with my panel lines. Oh, here's the stickers Jason sent me. So I'll just be able to like put it right on there. And uh, one big sheet like that. He kind of scaled that up from a drawing. Got thing loaded, that got that thing loaded up and it was three o'clock in the morning when they left out of here, man. And, and I don't know what it is. I get up at eight o'clock no matter what time I go to bed and I just, oh, just tired all day. I did get the shop cleaned up though. Look at that. Remember that big old mess I had over here? We had it trashed. After loading that Tomcat, man, it was trashed. Big time, we was cutting wood and everything else, and and uh, it was a mess in here. So I got it all cleaned up yesterday. I did get something done, and then went to bed early. But we're back on it now, baby. We're back in the high gear, and uh, we'll be rolling with some more Bob TV.
Same Bob time. Same Bob station.